AI, 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 generative AI, generative AI, 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 machine learning. Yes, we admit that AI has become a buzzword and we're all tired of hearing about it everywhere. But we can't ignore the fact that now we have to make tutorials about it. On a more serious note, it's truly an amazing assistant, particularly for writing personalized and effective email marketing content. So how can you use generative AI to create email content without sounding like a robot? Keep watching to find out. Hello, and welcome to MailTrap videos where we explore the world of emails. You can create email subject lines, body content, signatures, and even CTAs with generative AI. The best way to achieve good results is to train the chosen language model as if it were a new employee in your department. This means feeding it information on your target audience, product, goals, tone of voice, and expected output. Remember to be careful with sensitive data though. Never share customer information with AI tools and consult privacy laws for proper data handling. The training process is much easier if you're using ChatGPT and its GPTs. You can create a model dedicated to writing email content and interact with it the next time you need to craft the campaign. Here's how. Go to chat.openai.com and click Explore GPTs. Then click Create. Head straight to the Configure tab as it provides more options for configuring the GPT. Click the plus icon and use DALI to generate a logo or upload your own. While that's processing, enter the name of the GPT. For example, Senior Email Copywriter. Then add the description, which is basically a short summary of what the GPT does. Let's move to the instructions. This is the most important step as it will determine the output of your GPT. I've already prepared a list of requirements I want it to satisfy. These are basic instructions that the email content creator model should follow. For example, complying with email marketing laws, using simple English, writing in a human-like manner, and so on. You can extend this list as much as you want. The more precise you are, the better the output you'll get. Once you configure the instructions, you can add conversation starters that are basically just sample prompts. Finally, you can upload any files or data that could be useful for tweaking the model even further, such as your funnel, product information, roadmap, or even marketing strategy. Once again, make sure those files don't include sensitive data. Now it's time to move to the preview tab and see how the model works. I've prepared a precise prompt for that. I've asked the model to create a welcome email. In the prompt, I included information about my product, the service I offer, my target audience, and what I want to achieve with the email. Again, the key is to include precise and detailed instructions in the prompt. I hit enter and let GPT do its thing. So we've got our output, which includes placeholders for personalization, shows gratitude towards the user, describes the product and what problem it solves teaches the user how to get started and what they can do with the platform, and informs them about the next steps. The email doesn't include fluffy, overly beautified nonsense that AIs often dump on you. It follows my instructions perfectly. While this email draft will still require some tweaks, it has given me a great foundation to build on. I'm happy with the results, so I won't make any further changes and hit the create button. But you can always go back and forth until you achieve desired results. At this point, you already have a usable template that you can adjust to your liking. But there are a couple of things that you should keep in mind. Always edit email copies critically to remove any artificial words. For example, ChatGPT loves stuffing the outputs with words and phrases such as Unleash the power, dive into, and uncover. These and many others are telltale signs that the content was generated with AI, especially if they don't fit into the context. Be careful with the tone of voice. What AI thinks is witty mightn't be at all. And I'll be honest, AI is very bad at witty remarks and funny jokes. I asked it to rewrite my previous tip and make it witty. This is the result. You be the judge. Always ask professional editors to proofread your copies. While AI is pretty good at grammar, it still makes mistakes. 
An editor will help you add a human touch that AI assistants can't offer. Plus, they will cut out unnecessary words that make your copies bulky. Now, don't forget about personalization. Ask your GPT to include placeholders for the recipient's name or any other relevant details. To create top email content, always rely on your marketing strategy and take into account the target audience. Check out the link in the description to learn more. All done! You now know how to create effective email content with AI. We hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by MailTrap, an email delivery platform to test, send, and control your email infrastructure all in one place. Like and share this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to see more tutorials like this one. Don't forget to check out our other videos for more useful content on email deliverability. See you in the next one.